Surely you know drama queens or drama kings. People who always like to be the center of attention and whose moods can fluctuate between on top of the world or in depth of despair. They always distinctly express their moods and feelings and sometimes like to exaggerate. Persons for whom life is sometimes like a motion picture and who pay great attention to how they appear to others. The psychological key to understand these character traits can be revealed in the tradition of Jungian psychology in the archetype of the charmer, also called the performing artist. The qualities of the charmer are necessary to carry out any kind of performance, for example in film and acting, stage artistry and music performance, as well as whenever it is about inspiring people, winning them over or seducing them. We explain what is important and also tell you how to recognize the personality archetype of the charmer or performing artist and its unbalanced manifestation, the histrionic personality disorder, and present you with some tips on how to deal with this type of people in the best optimal way. At the end of the video, we also tell you how an unbalanced charmer or someone suffering from a histrionic personality disorder can rebalance their personality. The Charmer and the Histrionic Personality Disorder in 10 points. As explained in the intro video of this series, it is important for a healthy psychology that we focus not only on the pathological expression of a personality trait, but on its positive characteristics. That is why we will take a closer look at both the Histrionic Personality Disorder and its positive counterpart, namely the Charmer archetype. The entire characteristics of an archetype can be derived from its personality traits, or the so-called meta-programs, which in turn can be derived from their position and correspondences in the meta-model of the psyche, according to Stefan Fiebig. Point 1. What makes the archetype of the charmer tick? The archetypal charmer belongs to the sanguine temperament. He likes drama. His focus is always on external stimuli. It is not about cognitive or emotional stimuli, but much more about actions. He is most interested in the reactions of his environment towards himself, and he always wants to be the center of attention, no matter if it's for good or bad. However, he likes to be entertained himself as well. His basic needs are stimulation, variety and beauty. For him, it is quite clear that having Enthusiasm, drive and vital energy is what makes life worth living. His appearance and attractiveness are very important to him. For him, people are defined especially by their outer appearance. Point 2. His strength. The main qualities of the charmer archetype are his enthusiasm, charm and charisma and his humor. He also has a high level of grace. He is able to fully engage in a positive mood, he can also convince his fellows with inspiration and enthusiasm. He is particularly well suited for all tasks where it is a matter of being in contact with people and entertaining, inspiring and seducing them. Point 3. His weakness. Due to his high degree of ease and need for variety, the charmer is prone to superficiality. And due to his tendency to experience everything theatrically, he is prone to hysteria. Moreover, it is difficult for him to see details or to stay focused on one thing. As a result, his actions remain on the surface and he does not manage to get to the bottom of things in all depth. Point 4. How to recognize the charmer archetype. Since the charmer likes to be the center of attention and provide entertainment, he is not exactly inconspicuous. He takes care of his appearance and the manner to always be attractive and appealing. Moreover, he can give the impression of showing exaggerated emotional reactions. As a perfect drama queen, he likes drama. If necessary, he is also willing to attract negative attention as long as he can be the center of attention. Beyond that, he needs entertainment himself. He avoids boring activities or events like the plague. Many, if not all, encounters are on occasion for him to flirt. He usually comes across as charming and likable. However, sometimes he can also come across as manipulative. Well-known charmer archetypes 
include Giacomo Casanova, Maria Callas, Marilyn Monroe, Britney Spears and drag queen RuPaul, as well as all drag queens in general. The Charmer archetype can be confused with the Explorer archetype of the King archetype. Whereas the Explorer is more curious about information than experience and the King is less responsive to others. In contrast to the Charmer whose pathological expression is characterized by the histrionic personality disorder, the pathological form of the Explorer archetype is the Schizotypal disorder and that of the King is the Narcissistic personality disorder. Point 5. How does a Charmer react in conflict situations? The defense mechanism of the Charmer archetype is effectualization. It is about the affect person dramatizing the event. In this way he distracts himself from the actual event. In addition, this also allows him to give free rein to his associated emotions and live them out. Point 6. The Charmer in Mythology The Charmer archetype, like all personality archetypes, is a basic pattern of human experience. We experience the archetypal Charmer in many myths and fairy tales. In Mesopotamian mythology, for example, we find Inanna, who was later worshipped under the name Ishtar in Assyria and the Akkadian Empire. Among other things, she was worshipped as the goddess of love, sexuality and the patron goddess of prostitutes. In Greek mythology, Aphrodite represents the Charmer archetype. She is represented there as the goddess of love, beauty and sensual desires. She was also worshipped as a patroness of sexuality and procreation. We already find in her origin a connection with sexuality, because according to one of the tales, she was born from Uranus' genitals that had fallen into the ocean. In modern myths we find the Charmer archetype as well. Good examples are for example Scarlet O'Hara in the movie Gun with the Wind or Cher in Game of Thrones. Point 7. The Charmer and the Hero's Journey In the mythological success structure of the hero's journey, the hero needs the skills of the Charmer to successfully pass through the seventh stage. In this stage she meets the Muse, sometimes called the Goddess. It may be for example the Princess, whom the hero freed from the dragon's clutches in the fifth stage of the hero's journey. The hero may marry the Princess, but he still has to win her heart in the seventh stage. At the same time, the hero himself is deeply inspired by this muse, here in our example the princess. It may be in an erotic way. It can also be that the muse inspires him to do something extraordinary. By the way, you can learn more about this stage of the hero's journey in our video series about the hero's journey. Link in the description. Point 8. How can you recognize histrionic personality disorder? If you can recognize the personality archetype of the Charmer in a person, it will certainly be easy for you to recognize its pathological manifestation, because his personality traits are even more pronounced and accordingly stand out negatively. In the ICD-10, histrionic personality disorder is classified under F60.4. In addition to the characteristics of a specific personality disorder, f 6 t that must be present for a personality disorder to be diagnosed, at least three of the following six criteria must be present for a histrionic personality disorder to be diagnosed. Point 1. Self-dramatization, theatrical behavior and exaggerated expressions of emotions. Point 2. Suggestibility, being easily influenced by other people or by external circumstances. Point 3. Shallow and labile affectivity. Point 4. Constant search for exciting experiences and activities in which the person is the center of attention. Point 5. Unduly seductive in appearance and behavior. Point 6. Excessive preoccupation with appearing outwardly attractive. The DSM-5 criteria are quite similar and not mentioned separately. Maybe we will make a video about personality disorders later, perhaps in an extra channel. Simply subscribe to our channel and when the time comes we will let you know, or subscribe to our newsletter. Please find the link in the description. Someone suffering from histrionic personality disorder is one of the typical difficult personalities. Usually it is a special challenge when a boss, 
colleague, the spouse or life partner, a parent or a child suffers from this personality disorder. So the question arises. How to deal with a balanced or unbalanced charmer? Point 9. Here are a few initial tips. To deal well with a charmer, it's important to always keep in mind what his needs are. Since he needs acknowledgement and attention, give him positive feedback when it is appropriate that he is actually the center of attention. In addition, it will be much easier for you to win him over to something if you enthusiastically bring across the entertaining and glittering side of it. To deepen your knowledge of this and all other archetypes as well as to understand their importance in therapy, coaching, business relationships, professional and private life, you can attend our seminars on personality archetypes. Point 10. How can someone with a histrionic problem balance their personality? If the histrionic type wants to balance the imbalances, or if a well-developed charmer wants to expand their competencies, or if you want to balance your inner personality archetype of the charmer, it is a good idea to develop the complementary archetype, namely the master craftsman within yourself. Unlike the charmer, the master craftsman is focused on control and order and not on external stimuli or variety. To learn more about the master craftsman archetype, watch the video about it in our channel. Do you see yourself as a charmer? Do you know people around you who match these personality traits? What do you find particularly difficult in dealing with these people? What well-known real or fictitious people with the characteristics of the charmer or those corresponding to histrionic personality disorder do you know? Write us your answer and all your questions under the video. We will make a video at the end of the series in which we answer these questions. We look forward to your comments. If you haven't already done so, like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to be always up to date. Thanks you for watching and see you soon.